Hey YouTube, it's Budget of Bug Out. Today I'm going to be talking about Nikkor's new uh, LED uh, pen light, which is the MT06. Um, this product actually could be somewhat of a game changer in the everyday uh, carry flashlight community. Um, and, I'll, and I'll mention the reasons why I believe this flashlight is better in more than one way uh, than its competition. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here's the packaging that it came in. Uh, I'll go ahead and read off uh, some of the specs and features that, that's printed on it. Um, as you can see, the model number MT06, uh, MT stands for multitask. It has 165 lumen maximum output. It has a stainless steel uh, pocket clip. It's waterproof and impact resistant. It uses two AAA batteries and it can use rechargeable batteries um, like the one seen right here. Um, for those of you uh, who have rechargeable uh, flashlights like I do, um, you know how uh, cost effective uh, these can be. This is the rechargeable uh, S10 baton. Um, and if for those of you who uh, would like to know uh, where you can uh, purchase compatible AAA uh, batteries, um, that are rechargeable. Um, I'll leave links for those in the description box below. This is designed for engineers, mechanics, um, medical uh, service personnel. Um, you can see the, the nurse with the uh, flashlight there um, checking the pupils. He's a guy with a, it in his uh, dress uh, pocket and his uh, on a shirt on, on, his, uh, on his coat there. And uh, I already talked about the maximum lumens. It's 92 meter uh, maximum throw. A five hour, 15 minute uh, maximum runtime, five year warranty. There's the warranty uh, card in there. And then you can see that it uses a Cree XQE LED emitter with a precision digital optical uh, reflector. And uh, it's made of CNC aero grade uh, aluminum with a military grade um, hard anodized finish. It has a two-stage tail switch design and a uh, two-mode output, uh, low and high. I already mentioned the other things. So here's the uh, here's the high stats. Uh, has 100 with 165 lumens. It has a 45-minute runtime. 32 lumens. It has that maximum uh, runtime that I uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, with the impact resistance and the waterproof, uh, it, it has 1.5 meters and two meters respectively. Uh, this product is made in China, but just like the other uh, Nightcore products uh, that are also made in China, the, these, are, these are all uh, quality d designs. Uh, be sure to check out my uh, videos for the other uh, products if you haven't seen them already. Um, let's also um, look at the uh, dimensions for this. So you can see it has a length of uh, 5.4 uh, inches and a diameter of 0.55 inches. It has a weight of only 0.78 ounces or 22 grams. It also comes with a, a spare O-ring. Um, so how does this match up to its competition? So you can see this has a kind of a smoother surface uh, compared to, this is this is the, the mag light that has, uses the AAA batteries. Um, I, it, is, it, is it better or worse? Um, you know, it's, it's just it just comes down to personal preference. Here's the, um, the TMT by 511. This has more uh, uh, a grip, a tactical grip. Um, so you know, just maybe maybe you want to get one thing for for one uh, for, for maybe your, your your backpack and then another one for uh, something that you could carry in your pocket. Uh, it's really up to you. Um, here's here's the last one that uh, that's similar. Uh, this is the Streamlight ProTac uh, AAA. And there's two things that this uh, that I believe that uh, the MT06 improves on uh, to the uh, compared to the, the, the ProTac, which is the ProTac powers on in its highest setting. Here, let me turn off the uh, uh, the lights so that you guys can see uh, a little bit better uh, comparison. The ProTac will always power on in its highest minute mode, and then you have to uh, use the momentary on. Uh, in order to uh, to switch between the two modes, or uh, I should say three modes, because it has a stro mode in the middle of it for some reason. Um, the uh, the MT06 uses it will power on it in its high mode, and or correction is low mode, and then it can switch to its high mode. But as long as there's more than two seconds between, 
uh, uh, turning it off, turning it on, it will always power on in its low mode, which I personally prefer. Um, let me go ahead and I'll turn these back on real quick. Um, so, oh, oh, the the other the other uh, main difference is that uh, the ProTac has a uh, crenulated strike bezel and a larger uh, head than the uh, the MT-06, um, which just kind of serves so you can use it as a use it as a striking device. Um, it, it, personally, I just think that uh, a pen light shouldn't take up a lot of room and it shouldn't be too too bulky, um, especially if um, if you're like me and you um, use the the pen pockets um, in uh, in order to, to carry this on. Um, let's see here. Well, some of the other uh, differences is here's the uh, here's the Streamlight Micro Stream, and you can and this is my most everyday carried flashlight, so it's something I really like a lot. You can tell that it uses that that rear uh, tail switch uh, to power on, just like the um, MT-06. However, um, it does not uh, stay up right. So let me let me zoom in uh, a little bit so you can see that it, this is not going to not going to tail stand. Um, however, flashlights like the uh, the Prion One and the uh, through Knight's T3i, um, these, these flashlights are going to, uh, to tail stand. Sure, it takes some finagling in order to operate them, um, but, you, but if you ever lose power, you can, you can turn them on and uh, just, you know, leave, leave them in an upright position so that you can kind of use it in an emergency situation. Well, you can also do that uh, with this flashlight as well. Now this is sort of a, an uneven surface, but you can still see that it will uh, tail stand, so, which I think is uh, pretty cool because personally I love flashlights that tail stand um, and I love uh, to be able to uh, uh, easily and quickly uh, turn it off and on, which is something that um, having a, a rear tail switch will do. Uh, some of the other uh, features for this flashlight, it, it has this pocket clip right here, which um, is very similar uh, to the Prion one by 4.7s, um, which means that it's going to fall out if you're in any sort of recumbent position or if your legs are higher than your torso for a, uh, a long period of time. Um, so just don't go bungee jumping um, if, you, uh, if you have this flashlight in or, or relax. Uh, if, you're, if you're just uh, at work and uh, you're just walking around or whatever, you should be fine. A couple other things worth mentioning is that if you're like me and you're prone to accidentally turning the, the uh, flashlight on, well, first off, there is a little bit of give, so it does take a little bit of force in order to turn it on. Um, but another thing you can do is you can just unscrew the, uh, the head of the flashlight a little bit uh, in order to, to keep that from happening. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to just uh, you can screw it back in whenever you're you're ready to use it again. Um, so I do I do like that uh, that that capability. In order to uh, make this work, make the light work, there is no uh, momentary press to turn it on. You have to, it's something known as a reverse clicky, which you have to uh, in order to activate you, you press in and then you release in order to turn this flashlight on. Um, and then if you want to switch to a different mode. Um, you can do a momentary press to, to switch, um, or you can turn it off and turn it back on within two seconds to switch to different modes. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and check out how, what the flashlight looks like in the dark. Okay, so this is what uh, the beam looks like from about 10 feet away. This is uh, shining on the corner of my bathroom. Uh, the hot spot is what's in the center, and oh, past that is what's known as the spill. So this is on its low mode and this is it on its high mode. Now I'm going to show you how it compares against the other uh, AAA uh, flashlights that, uh, uh, that yet use two AAA batteries. Um, so this, the first step is going to be the, the 511 TMT. So it's hard to see on, on camera, but the, uh, the spill seems slightly wider, only so, only so slightly uh, wider for the, for the 511, but the hot spot is much, much less intense um, for the 511. The 511 only has one mode, so there's, no, there's nothing to bump it up to. 
Uh, next up is the uh, mag light. And the mag light, if you focus it to the, uh, the same intensity, uh, it is going to be a smaller hot spot, but the same, uh, same spill. And then lastly is the, uh, the ProTac. And the ProTac has uh, probably similar intensity uh, of a hot spot, but, uh, but a smaller hot spot and the same, uh, same spill. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to leave uh, comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think of this flashlight. Uh, one last thing to note is that um, you see how I've switched it to high? Um, it will actually kick it back down to low um, just because I've had it on high for um, a, a period of time already. Um, and it will also get quite warm in the hand. So um, that's just the last thing I'd like to note. It doesn't uh, affect my overall uh, opinion of the flashlight. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a great flashlight for, for, for what you're getting, uh, for what you're paying. It's only, uh, I think around only 30 bucks. So um, be sure to check out the links uh, below in the description box um, for, for all the flashlights that I mentioned. Um, I'll leave them all down there for, for your convenience. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.